What is up Toyota fans? This is Andrew from Trail Runner Customs and today we're going to be going over how to install our TRD Pro Grill on your 2000 to 2002 Toyota Tundra. Before we get into it, I just want to give a shout out to Sal from JDM Driveway. He has his own YouTube channel where he has lots of Tundra content and I partnered with him making this video. Okay, so the first step is to get your four silver screws and locate the four holes on the back of the grill. And what you're going to be doing is taking the Toyota grill insert and fastening it into the back of the grill with a Phillips head screwdriver. So all you have to do is just drop it right in there. It fits in the slots. Grab your Phillips head, tighten it down. Be sure to use the shorter silver screws for this instead of the longer black ones to avoid damaging the grill. As you can see, turning it over, it is now tightened down and ready for installation. Moving on to the Tundra itself, the first thing you're going to want to take off is the hood latch where it connects to the grill. And then you're going to want to take off the six screws that hold the grill itself onto the hood. Now all these bolts are 10 millimeter. They're pretty easy to take off. You also need to keep track of the hardware you take off because you're going to need some of the parts for the new grill installation. So now Sal is taking his 10 millimeter socket to unscrew the bolts where they connect on the hood latch to the grill. He also opts to unscrew the hood latch where it connects to the hood just to kind of make things easier. But if you want to leave it dangling and kind of come back to it later, that is also an option. So the next step is to take off the six nuts that hold the OEM grill onto the hood. Just a reminder, you're going to want to save the nuts that you take off of the bolts because it will be used for putting the new TRD grill on the hood. So once you have everything unfastened, you can now pull straight back and your grill will easily slide out. Moving on to the new grill, you now need to put the six new bolts that come with the grill into the six slots that go across to replace the old OEM bolts. Now these are the six um, larger screws, the silver screws that come in the box. And all you really have to do is just take them and slide them right into place. There should be like a little click and then you are good. You are now ready to put the new grill on your Tundra. Now putting this on may be a little bit difficult, but the only thing you really have to worry about is getting those silver screws to go into the holes in the hood. As you can see in the video, it's gonna take a little bit of lining up. You might have to play with it back and forth a little bit but it should fit securely in there when all these silver screws are fully through the holes on the hood and it is pushed flush against the hood. One small issue Sal ran into during this installation was that a couple of the nuts off his OEM grill were extremely rusted and corroded. And to get around that, he used a thread tap and cleaned out the threads the best he could. And he was able to make them usable again to go on the new grill. So now that the new grill is in place on the hood, you can start to reattach the bolts that hold the grill to the hood and also the hood latch. Just a tip for fastening the grill onto the hood itself, I would take each nut and kind of hand fasten it first. That way it provides a little bit of stability and also the bolts can be equally tightened down. It also just makes it a lot easier, that way you don't have to spin the ratchet as much. Once you have all the nuts hand tightened down to the bolts, you can then take your 10mm ratchet and kind of snug up all the bolts you already screwed in. I would say do not over tighten them. Um, I know a lot of you are going to want to kind of wrench it down super hard, that way it doesn't move. But uh, if you do this, you uh, risk stripping the bolt and that would be really hard to get off. So I would say do not over tighten it, just make sure they're all snug and equally tight. So once you have the six bolts across the top tightened down and the hood latch fastened back in place, you are officially done with the installation. So as you guys just witnessed, this installation is pretty simple and easy. It doesn't require any complex tools or any uh, extensive experience on how to work on vehicles. Um, I really liked how this one turned out on Sal's Tundra. I think it adds a nice modern look to the front of his vehicle and ties it in together well. Uh, stay tuned on how to wire the lights on this car because I'm coming out with a video on that. I'm going to go over exactly how to do it uh, easily, quickly, and safely. So stay tuned for that video and I appreciate the support. Thanks. We also have products and videos for all 4th Gen 4Runners, 1st Gen Sequoias, and 1st Gen Tundras, so check out those if you're interested. Are you finally ready to make your Toyota stand out? Elevating the style of your vehicle does not have to be difficult. Visit the link in our description to check out TRD Pro Grills on trailrunnercustoms.com.